What's up everybody, in today's video we will show you how to fade the edges of any sprite in the direction you want. For example, you can select to fade from the left or right or from left and right at the same time or even left, right, top at the same time or fading from all the edges. So this is Ramaz Altaba from Binary Lunar and let's get started. Let's start a new Unity 2D project. I'm using Unity 2019.4.21. Let's name it 2D Edges Fade Shader Graph. Okay, first thing to do is to go to the package manager to install the Universal Render Pipeline, which we will use to build the shader graph. So let's install the universal RP. Okay, first thing to do is to create rendering universal render pipeline, a pipeline asset forward renderer. Leave the name as it is if you want. It will auto create with it the universal renderer, but for this tutorial, we will use a 2D renderer. So we can replace the default renderer with the 2D renderer, let's create rendering render pipeline 2D renderer. Then in the universal rendering pipeline asset, we can replace the default renderer with a 2D renderer. And we can delete the default one. Then we need to apply this new universal render pipeline to the project settings by going to edit project settings. We go to both graphics and the quality tabs and take that as a default. Okay, for this project, I got uh, some random PNGs as an R to do this shader graph on it. So I downloaded those from uh, a PNG website. I'll provide you the link for those arts in the link in the description below. So let's create our shader graph now. Create shader 2D renderer and let's make it unlit shader graph let's drag our alien to the scene we can't see it yet because it has been set to lit but there is no lights in the scene and that's why we created our shader to be unlit so let's fix this create new material fade material and apply the shader to the material then apply the material to our alien we still can't see anything yet Let's go to the shader. Usually when we do any 2D uh, shader graph, we immediately add a new property, texture 2D. You can say it's a, the main sprite or main texture. And you should set the reference to main text. That will auto detect any sprite attached to the game object as a main texture. And make sure it's case sensitive. So the T is capital and M is capital underscore main text. Then we will use a sample texture 2D to sample that texture. Then we link the results to the color. Now, if we save, go back to the scene, we can now see our alien. To do the fade from edges, we will use the UV since it's the best reference for the edges. So we create UV node. If we want to start from fading from left, we can split the UV. So we will get the RGB channels, which represents the X, Y, and Z axes. So the left fade, we should use the X axis. So if we do a preview node, so, so we can see visually what I mean, this is the X axis. See, we do fading from left to right. If we choose the green channel, we can see fading from uh, bottom to up. So what, that's what we will be working on. So let's start by the right and we won't want to control the visibility of the game object. So let's create a new float vector one visibility and we multiply it with the x-axis and based on my experiments with this project we can set it as a slider between 0 and 10 default value let's set it to 1 as you can see if i increase the default value the fading increases that's we will use a slider to control the visibility of the game object for all edges so let's test fading from left for now we simply multiply that with the main texture so we just do multiply 
this with this. And let's see what we got. Yep, we start seeing fadings. So if we control this, uh, something wrong. Because we are not only controlling the alpha here, we're controlling all the channels of the texture. So we need to split the texture to get its alpha only and manipulate that. So here is what we do. We multiply only the alpha of the texture with the fading gradient we got. Then we combine them together. We get the red, green, blue. Oh, by the way, we can uh, set the main texture to the alien so we can see results immediately in the preview. And here we can set it to quad. So we combine the red, green, blue channels with our new alpha. Then we link that to the color. See here in the preview, let's test again. <clears throat> it's better, but still some bright white on the sides, making the texture look ugly. And probably because we mixed two alphas together and we got a value of one. And to fix this, simply we can add a saturate node, which clamps, clamps the value of the alpha between zero and one. So just add a saturate and link it to the alpha, save, Test again, yeah, now it's totally fine and perfect. We're fading from left. We are full visibility, we're going down to the zero and check. We're fading from left, gradually till the game object is totally fading. So that's the concept, we will do the same for all edges. To fade from the right, we still need the same X axis, but we need to inverse it so we add a 1 minus node to inverse the direction of the x-axis and you multi multiply with the same visibility variable we created then to mix both of those we simply multiply again then we link the, the results to the multiply with the texture let's save and test see now we can get fades from right and left at the same time if you wanna set which side you, you wanna fade we can add nodes for that. So let's create some booleans. Let's create boolean left fade. You can set the default value to on. Uh, and we need a branch node to control this boolean. So here is the boolean fade left. When it is true, we need to, to get the gradient of fading. So that's what we need to link to the true. But when it's false, currently it's zero. But if we keep that as zero, check will get black that's why when we multiply anything with zero it becomes zero so we need to set it to one so if we switched off this boolean we get a white instead of black and that will not affect the other channels from blending we do the same for fading right vector one right fade Okay, let's save and test what happened to now. We can choose now from which edge we want to fade, right or left. We want to fade from left, that's it. We're fading from left, we want to fade from right, that's it. We want to fade from both edges, just dip those. Now we're fading from both edges. This is the concept, now let's expand it to the top and bottom edges. Simply we do the same again. We create multiply node, but this time we multiply the green channel which represents the y-axis and we multiply it with the visibility. Uh, and to do the top fade, we simply need one minus node we link it to the y channel so we get inverse y channel then we multiply the top and bottom fades together and finally, mm, why are we getting here white? 
because we set the default. Okay, now it's fine. Then we multiply the results of right left multiply with the top bottom multiply to get fading from all edges. So multiply again. And it feels weird. We're getting black, but let's test and see. Now we multiply this result with the texture. Let's save and see what we'll get. Let's assume we want to fade from ed all edges that supposed to give something like radial or sphere mask. Circle mask. Yeah, it's working fine, see? We're getting fades from all edges, only the center is visible. That's cool. Let's test what we got we can get if we toggled a mix of booleans. For example, we tested right left. Let's test top right, top down, top bottom. Looks cool. Maybe it's good for blinking, eye blinking effect. Can be used in some games. Um, maybe let's try left bottom. See? Top right. Interesting. But the most one I like is if we mix, mix the left, right, and bottom. Sorry, top. I don't know, but it, I felt it's nice, like when the sun is shining. Of course, this can be applied immediately to uh, any sprite. So if you want to test it, simply drag any sprite to the scene, drag the uh, fade material to it. You that are the same result applying to the other sprite. If you want to give it different controls for it, you can simply create new material. So we can create material from the box. Box mat material. It drags the shader to the box material, then drag the box material to the box. And now we can have different controls for the box. For example, the box we want to fade it right and left. While this alien we want to fade from right, left, top also. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to join our Discord server to ask me there. Also, if you found this useful, don't forget to hit like, share and the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And of course, big thanks to our supporters on Patreon who keeps encouraging us to continue publishing this quality content and become, by becoming a Patreon, you can of course gain access to download all our projects. Till next video, see you soon.